The reason why exercise is so important in my life and such an important habit for every single epileptic out there is because... So I've been reading up a lot on academic peer-reviewed journals on InfoTrack, and a recent study at Harvard on hippocampal volume loss uh, basically posed the question, is epilepsy or seizure disorder a neurodegenerative disorder? The common conception is no, it's not, uh, because studies haven't really proven. After taking a sample size, now just for you guys' info, like, uh, you know, Alzheimer's is a neurodegenerative degenerative disorder. It gets to the point where it progresses, 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 progresses until the person basically doesn't remember anything. And the question here is, is this uh, a function of seizure disorder or epilepsy? After taking a sample size of 75 adolescents and 126 adults of each seizure um, group or the most common seizure groups and studying those that were on seizure medication and off seizure medication, they, the results are essentially that yes, epilepsy and seizure disorders are neurodegenerative and it is based on the volume of seizures. So essentially it's quite simple. When you have a seizure in your hippocampus of the mind, your neurons go crazy and misfire and it's essentially a fireworks show and they kill themselves. It's a bunch of neurons self-destructing. Thousands and thousands and thousands of neurons self-destructing. Those neurons are the things that connect in your mind and they store information and they transmit information. Now as you have seizures, especially those that have grand mal seizures or tonic-clonic seizures, those with generalized epilepsy, are actually proven to have a decrease in cognitive function based on an increase in volume of seizures, okay? So, interestingly enough, those who are treated with anti-epileptic drugs are proven to have even more dysfunction or even more cognitive loss and long-term memory loss, okay? Neurodegeneration in the hippocampus. So, D you guys see that helicopter? I don't know if you can see it. I wonder if I can zoom in. It's just hovering over there on the mountains. Can you see it? Now why is this topic of neurodegeneration something that I bring up? Good question, I'm glad you asked. Exercise is attributed to neurogenesis. Okay, they call this the neurotropic factor. So, when you exercise, you are actually increasing the neuronal interconnectivity in the hippocampus, okay? Those connections that are so susceptible, all right, when you're having a seizure, all right, you're also increasing the neuronal preservation rate, which is, you know, the decrease in the death rate okay, of the neurons in your mind, you're making them bolster. We talked about, uh, last time, we talked about uh, those heightened uh, mitochondria in the neurons, and believe it or not, when you exercise, there's a neuronal regeneration in the mind. So actual neurons being produced during exercise. What? So you're saying that all of those neurons that I'm killing and, and decreasing basically my cognitive function and decreasing my capacity for long-term memory loss in the hippocampus, I can rebuild all that? And I can actually, wait, by exercising, I can actually make my neurons less susceptible so I can provide preventative maintenance in my body by exercising? Hmm, yes. Another study at the University of Texas in Austin has shown an astounding 45% increase in the retention of information by Alzheimer's patients through exercise alone. Now this just really goes down and bolsters that evidence that exercise is so key to neuroregeneration. And we've already determined that those epileptic seizures, every single epi episode has basically 
you know, the capability of that neurodestruction or neurodegeneration. So guys, come on, let's exercise. Mm -hmm.